Hey guys, MJ from Endless RVing, and we are about to take you on a tour of Tiffin's most expensive diesel Class A motorhome, the Tiffin Zephyr. You're not gonna wanna miss it. So we are on board the 2020 Tiffin Zephyr. We're gonna start right at the cockpit. Guys, uh, so all electronic coach this is gonna be on the Tiffin Paraglide chassis, 605 horsepower, upwards of 1,900 pounds of torque, okay? You can see how this is all nice and finished, all electronic, all right? You got a nice television over here. This looks like an LG TV, probably around 42 or maybe more uh, inches. Nice cabinetry work. All right, all for your window awnings, um, power management, it's all in here, your wine guard satellite. Nice curved cabinetry. Over here you have some more storage space. Guys, we're gonna run through this video pretty quick before the people start mobbing on this because this is a pretty popular floor plan. More storage. Just keep note, uh, just so you understand, Tiffin, Red Bay, Alabama, they manufacture all their woodwork in-house, okay? So we're gonna go down the passenger side. You see the double couch here, and there's a fold-out bed underneath, okay? This is Villa furniture, nice fine leather. You have an LG TV on a televator. Look at some of the details over here on the lights, also on the walls, and a nice cloth finish. You can see down here, I don't know if you, hopefully you can see on the camera, there's a pop-up uh, power distribution center there with some 110 outlets. Floors on these guys, uh, tile floors. This is an all electric coach. It's gonna have the uh, hydronic heating system by Aqua Hot. You have your uh, dinette here uh, with the two chairs, nice uh, hard countertop and a window. Perfect to look at your campsite. And you also have like a little windowsill here so you can put uh, items. Another, Chach yeah, another power <laughs> center here with USBs and 110 outlets. Just looking above here, you have some more cabinetry. All right, quickly show that. Uh, unfortunately, that you can't see all the lights in here because the battery disconnect is on right now. This is on the Powerglide chassis. The base price for this $678,993. Okay, that's your MSRP. Let us continue down the passenger side. You have a uh, coffee maker built in. Also, this is, comes with a wine cooler. Okay. For those of you that want your uh, Friday night wine or maybe everyday wine. Nice slide out storage. What I do like about this, guys, they uh, put the front face on the refrigerator to match everything else, although the furniture inside, you have dual French doors, as well as the freezer underneath. One thing, guys, uh, that this is a little different from others, you do not have the flush uh, slides, okay? These are carpets here, so they don't do the flush tile, all right? So if that's a big issue for you that may be a deal killer for you. Let's continue down the uh, passenger side into the bedroom. May get a little dark in here, guys. I do apologize. Let's see, lights are not working. All right, so we're in the bedroom here. Nice cabinet work. You got your Wally system in there for your uh, onboard satellite. You have another television by LG and a televator, as well as a 40 inch Furion fireplace. That's not only gonna be visually appealing, that's actually gonna put out heat, okay? So it is functional. More hard countertops. Uh, another closet here with shelves. And you could also see there's some drawers running on the bottom. I really like how they do this. It almost looks like a home uh, fireplace because it has like this marble looking hard material. Very nice touch. Moving into the bathroom, the master bath. Now this is pretty large back here. You have dual sinks as well as dual medicine cabinets. Okay, with mirrors on them. Uh, three drawers, okay, and two um, cabinet doors for storage. You also have your controls for all your lights on here as well as power outlets. Nicely tiled walls, okay, the tiles match the floor. 
Uh, MJ can just get into the back. You have a big walk-in rear closet with, um, let me get in here. You have a shoe racks, you have a built-in um, safe, you have shelves up top, and you also have uh, rods to hang. On the driver's side, you have a stackable Splendid uh, washer dryer, or Splendid, however you want to say it. And then also to my right, you have another stack of a cabinet with shelves and four drawers, deep drawers, all high quality hardwood made in house by Tiffin. Let's start going down the driver's side. You have your toilet with electric flush and a window. Above that, you have cabinet. And above that, you have your exhaust fan. Perfect placing for what comes out, it's sucked out, right? Let us get into the bathtub, okay? Good room here. Uh, you have a exhaust fan. I'm sorry, you have a skylight. That actually lights it up a lot in here. Skylight up above, all tiled out. You also have an, I see an LED strip in here, so that's gonna light up if you wanted to. You have your um, controllers here, along with your Delta shower head. All glassed out, nicely done. So it's kind of hard to see, but you have some nice ceiling trays. You see here, you have a ceiling fan, and just step back a little bit. You have a sliding door. Sliding door that separates the master bath from the bedroom king size bed on a slide uh, you also have uh, some USB plugs right here cabinet look at the, uh, the woodwork along the slide there's LEDs as well as a large window and two wall lights same thing on the uh, going more toward the uh, front of the coach here's another door separating Continuing down the driver's side, you're gonna have, this is a half bath. Nice hardwood doors, get in there. You have another toilet, as well as a sink, cabinets, and another medicine cabinet, and another cabinet here for storage. As well as another exhaust fan up top. Now look how they, they, they even the exhaust fans, they put covers over them, all right? So it's not just an exhaust fan, they actually take the time to put the cover over it. Let us continue. You have another touch panel to control. Everything is off in here, but this will control the whole coach, lights, everything, give you your tank levels. As you see, it's aqua hot inside. Nice little area here with a little decoration. That's pretty. Let's look at the kitchen. Look at the double sink. Deep. I'm sorry, one single sink. Deep sink. Farm style Farm sink. sink. I prefer that over the split because uh, I don't know why you split. It doesn't change the amount of dishes you have. Well, you put the covers on. And you're back on to uh, having usable uh, counter space. You have the Wolf induction cooktop as well as a dishwasher. All nicely finished the front with the hardwood finish. You also have to pull out a uh, section here that will greatly increase the size of your kitchen. And I don't know how that closes. Pull the handle. Pull it. Ah, there we go. Perfect. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Uh, continuing with the cabinetry here, you can see a nicely finished hardwood uh, and made in house by Tiffin. You have your recliners here, and you can look at the balances. They're finished in like, I don't know if that's a suede or some kind of vinyl material, but it, it's nicely finished. Look at this. Yep, that's, detail. That is nice. It's unfortunate this is not lit up in here right now. And then you have a little bit of storage space, always taking advantage of wherever you can put storage in a motorhome. It's a 45 foot motorhome. It's on a, a tag axle. If you want to flip around, it's got a shot going right down. Alright guys, so we're up front, you can see the nice uh, fiberglass front. You're going to have your uh, generator, it's going to be right behind here. I'm not sure what it is, it's probably going to be at least a 10,000 uh, watt onan, if not more. We have a camera system uh, starting right here. Look at the lights, the LEDs, how they finish. You have the nice LED finish here, projector lights, really good looking coach. Dome, Tiffin, 
uh, motorhome emblem right on the door, chrome mirrors. And again, if you want it signed by Bob Tiffin it will inside, sign he'll sign it. Uh, check out the chrome mirrors with the camera built in. You have a awning right over the door as well as the Gerard awning, awnings built in top. I'll tell you what I don't like on this right now is the gutter. You see that gutter spitting out? You would expect to see a built-in gutter into the roof for something of this price where you shouldn't have uh, gutters like that. They should be built in and shoot right down to the ground. That I don't like. Looking at the door, you see chrome handle as well as a little uh, peak space there. All right, actually holes open on the tension. You have the stairs here. They're finished, they're covered right now, but they're finished out in like a hard um, material. You have the chrome steps. Those will fold up into the body. Grab handle, as well as the touch pad. Okay, you can see the show price here, 579, 777. Again, those are always negotiable prices. Let's go to the slide. Tiffin is known, they have the seamless slide. So they make their slide boxes in-house. So when I say seamless, if you look at some other ones, they're going to have actual seams. Over here, it's all one piece, right? It's going to re uh, help greatly reduce the chance of getting leaks. The sidewalls on the uh, Tiffins, they're vacuum bonded. They're not hung like new Mars, but uh, Tiffins service is worldwide known for the excellent customer service. If you look at the slide, you have the color matches the, uh, the graphics going along the sidewall. Let's continue down. You have a Gerard awning over top also with uh, window awnings. There's going to be a television back here. I don't know how to open it. I am not going to open it, but there will definitely be a television behind that wall there. Uh, I'm going to assume that is, I don't know what that is. It might be the back of the refrigerator actually. Not sure what that is. All right, continuing on the second slide on the passenger side, you're gonna have uh, another uh, Gerard awning as well as the awning going over the window. Tag axle, 315, 80, 22 and a half on the rear of uh, both tires. And you can see there's some marker lights over here. So if you're parking in the dark, you have a little help. I'm just gonna open one of these uh, slide, one of these storage. That's gonna be your fill up here. All right, so if you want to fill up your water, your fresh water, you can fill it up right there. Nice heavy doors. These will have to pass through storage, guys. I'm not going to go through all of them. There's plenty of plastic storage on here. All right, there's your battery bank. We've got, uh, there's probably eight batteries in here, but don't, don't hold me to that. Here's what you're looking for right now, guys. Uh, coming 605 horsepower motor in here. It's a big boy. You're gonna have a high tow capacity in here, probably 15 to 20,000 pound tow capacity. Let's go on to the back. Let's see if you can get this over here. So look at the beautiful finish, uh, chromed out finish on the grill with the Zephyr. You got uh, dual cameras, one up top, one on the bottom. Nice uh, one-piece fiberglass rear. Here's your 50 amp uh, connection. Okay. We'll say that's on a power reel. 50 amp connection, side-mounted radiator. That's what you want. Okay. Easier to work on. Uh, you're gonna get better cooling. Here's an exhaust. I'm gonna assume this is for your Aqua Hot. Well, that's a pass-through. Pass-through storage right there. Big pass-through storage. Okay, and then here's your Aquahot 600D. That exhaust will be for your Aquahot system. That's gonna be electric and diesel fired um, heating system. It's gonna heat your coach and it's also gonna heat your hot water and your radiant floors, okay? Both on either electric or diesel. Now these are actually electronic trays, okay? So, go in. I'm not gonna bring it all the way in and out. But that's, that's nice to have. Continue up front, I'll open up another one. Oh, there's some more batteries. All right, so you have uh, six batteries here. And there's your hydraulic system for your slides. And then finally, let's move up front. Here is your diesel fuel fill up. 
That's actually pretty nice. It's right up front, right under the, That's a good idea. Right under the driver's side. Guys, anybody who knows motorhomes knows a lot of times lining up. You're looking so far back, you can't see where your, your fill up is relative to the pump. So that's pretty cool there. And some more fuses and controls over here. That's going to be the exhaust for your, um, your generator. And uh, that's about it, guys. Uh, we hope you enjoyed this. We really, really like this Tiffin. We had checked out the King Air and the Zephyr is, is right up our alley. So if you enjoyed the video, make sure we invite you to subscribe below. If you know anybody that's looking for a Zephyr or interested in Tiffin, share this video with them. It's a beautiful uh, coach and I really think for the money, uh, well valued. Also, if you like the video, we, sit, we invite you to hit the thumbs up. And for myself and MJ who's behind the camera, Sorry about that. We thank you guys for watching and we'll see you on the road.